We begin the Gemara today towards the bottom of Yudal Lamed Beis, about 10 lines from the bottom, where it says, Omar Rabbe Baravona. So this is a continuation of the halachis of Esrig, regarding Maiser, and uh, soon we'll learn regarding Shmita as well. Omar Rabbe Baravona, Hashta, the Omar Rabbe Gamliel. Now that Rabbe Gamliel said that Esrig is different than every tree. Esrig achalikitose isuroi kiyerek, that by an Esrig, you follow the time for its maestris from when it's picked. Unlike all trees, that you go with the chanotta from when it comes out, when it blossoms. So, if so, Rosh Hashanah shaloi tishrei. So the Rosh Hashanah should also be tishrei, which is the Rosh Hashanah for Yerakis, not the Rosh Hashanah of trees, which is chamishasa b'shvat. May Sveis the Gemara asks on this. It says Nabraiser Rabshim min alazaimer liket esrig erev tezvav b'shvat. He picked an esrig before tezvav shvat. Before the Shkia of Tezvav Shvat. But then he picked other Esregim. After Shkia of Tezvav Shvat. Then, so you can't give the Trumas and Maestris from what he picked before and what he picked after. You don't give Trumas and Maestris from the new year on the old or from the old on the new. Then the Brayse says, "Hoisa shlishis nechnesas l'rivius." If this was the third year of Shmita after Shmita, entering into the fourth year of Shmita, so the halacha of which maestres you give changes. In the third year, you give maisa ani, and then the fourth year you start over again and you give maisa sheni. So shlishis. So what belongs to the third year, you give maisa rishain and maisa ani. Rivius, but what you picked after Shkia and it belongs to the fourth year, so for that you give my Sirisha and my Sashani. This is the Braisa. So now the Gemara explains. Man Shamatle, the Ozl Basalakita. Who is the one that holds that you follow by an Esrik the time of picking? This Braisa says, lick it, right? So it's talking about the picking. Whose opinion is this? Rabbi Gamliel. It's opinion, Rabbi Gamliel's opinion. According to Rabbi Liazza, we had before, Rabbi Liazza says, an Esrik is just like every other tree. There you go with the Chanata. So this Rab Shimon ben Elazar in this Braise, he's following Rabbi Gamliel's opinion that you go after the Lakita. Ve Katani, and it also says in this Braise, Shvat, that the Rosh Hashanah for the tree, for the Esrig, is Shvat. So we see that even if you follow the Lakita for the Esrig like vegetables, but nevertheless the Rosh Hashanah still stays Shvat. So therefore the Gemara says, Elo i itmer, hachi itmer. We have to change, and this is really the statement that Rabbi Baravone said. Omar Rabbi Baravone, Rabbi Baravone said was, Even though he said by an Esrig, you follow the time of picking like a vegetable, but nevertheless, Rosh Hashanah Shaloi Shvat. The Rosh Hashanah still is Shvat like all other trees. Now the Gemara focuses on another detail in this Braise that we just quoted. The Braise was saying that if it was between the third and fourth year, so then it, you have to make sure to give the right Maestres. So the Gemara says, Mai shna hasam. Why before? This is in a Braise that was quoted on Dafyud Beis. So over there it also spoke about the difference of Maestres of one year and the next. And what did it say there? The Katani, there it said, Im shnia. There the example was the second year going into the third year. That's the beginning of the cycle after Shemitah, the first, second, and third year. So I was talking about the change from the second year to the third year. Why here regarding the Esrig, the Ktani, Here it talks about the third year going into the fourth year. Why does it have to talk about the third going into the fourth? Why not the second going into the third? That's the first time when there's a change from my Sashani to my Sa'ani. So the one answers, Milse Agaborche Kamashmalon. This Braise is, as it's choosing an example, is teaching you something about the nature of the Esrik tree. The Esrik Kashile Yode, that for the Esrik tree, it's very bad for the tree, the fact that there's a lot of hands that are touching the tree. And the Aidi, the Mimash Kula Alma Bishviyas, what happens in Shemitah time, when the field is Hefker, and you have a lot of people that are walking in, and they touch the tree, they touch the Esrigim, and because of this, the tree gets weakened, and Leito and Peri, it won't anymore give out fruits at last until three years later. So the first time the Esrig is going to give, it's going to, you'll have a Esrigim, will be the third year, and then going into the fourth year. But after Shmita, the Esrig tree suffers, it gets very weak. This is a unique thing about the Esrig tree. It's a very, very weak tree. That's why it's like compared to vegetables. It needs extra water, and you have to be very extra careful with it. It's like a vegetable tree, sort of. 
regarding this that we just spoke about, the Esrik tree, Esrik, Rosh Hashanah Shalei Emesai. The Esrik tree, when is the Rosh Hashanah for this tree? Amalei, Shvat. So he told him, Shvat, like we just said. So he asked him, Shvat de Chadoshim. Does that mean Shvat as in the 11th month of the year and you start the Rosh Hashanah is going to be Rosh Chodesh Shvat or let's say according to Beish Hillel it's going to be Tezvav Shvat. That's what you mean? Or Shvat de Tkufe. Or maybe Shvat is not the exact month of Shvat, but it goes after the solar calendar, the seasons. So you have to look at the Tkufa of Tevis. Shvat is the second month in the Tkufa of Tevis. The Tkufa of Tevis has three months. Adar, Shvat, uh, uh, again, Tevis, Shvat, and Adar. So Shvat and the Tkufa of Tevis might not be exactly the month of Shvat. It could be, let's say, a few days off. I mean, this year it's very off, actually. When you come to a year like this, right before Shana Moabedes, the Tkufa of Tevis is going to start almost at the very end of Tevis. So then it's going to be totally off. So maybe that's what Shvat means. Taisus here says that when the Gemara asks this question, whether it's Shvat the Chadoshim or Shvat the Tkufa, the first Taisus on the Amud, it's not only a question about the Esri. This is a Shaila B'chlal, when get to the Rosh Hashanah Lilonis. When we say that Shvat is the Rosh Hashanah, does it mean the month exactly, always Shvat? Or do you go with the season to see in the solar calendar when it falls out? Amalei. So uh, Rabbi Yana answered the Chadoshim. You go with the months, you go with the months of the year, and that's how you count it. Taisva says the reason is because even though uh, the, the ripening of the trees happens through the sun, so you, you should follow the solar calendar, but it also says, it says, Mimeget Tuvois Shamesh, but it also says, Mimeget Geresh Yerachim, that the moon also affects the, the uh, growing of the tree. So therefore, we follow the, the Chadoshim. And then Taisva says, Yisrael Mayna Lelavana. You can count the lunar calendar, and therefore when it comes to the Rosh Hashanah for trees, we also follow the Rosh Hashanah of the months. So he asked him further about this. Others say that Rav Yechenen continued asking Rav Yanai, What's if it's Hashanah Mu'beres, like this year? So what's going to be the halacha? So Rashi explains what he was asking is, maybe in Hashanah Mu'beres, so maybe it's not Shvat, but maybe the first Adar, which is basically like in the time of the solar calendar when Shvat would be, so maybe in Hashanah Mu'beres, the first Adar should be in the place for Shvat for the Rosh Hashanah Lilonis. So he answered him, no, it doesn't change. You follow what it is in most years. It's, most years is not a Shana Mu'beres. Most years is a Shana Pshuta. And therefore, it's just like in most years, it's going to be Shvat. In a Shana Mu'beres, it's still going to stay Shvat. Omar Abbe, now the Gemara is going to discuss the halacha of an Esrig, whether you follow the Hanote, the blossoming, or the Lekite, the picking, regarding Shmita. And here, there's going to be a Machlekes in one detail, between Rabbe and um, Rabbe Mnuna, I think it is. Let's see. So Omar Rabbe, Rabbe said, Esrig bas shishis, an Esrig that blossomed, that start, started growing in the sixth year. Shenichnasa l'shvies, but it entered into the seventh year. It was picked in the seventh year in Shmita. So what's the Allah? Petura mena maiser. It's going to be potter of maiser. The produce of the seventh year of Shmita, it has to be left to be hefker. And by, for hefker, there's no maiser. So it's going to be potter from maiser. But it's also upetura mena bir. It's also pot from bir, which means the Allah of Shmita is that when the fruits that you have in your house are not available for the animals in the field, you have to take it out of your house and put it out to be hefker. So these esregim that began growing in the sixth year and were picked in the seventh year, it's, it's exempt from this Shmita. In other words, it's not, it does not have the Allah of Shmita. Now the Gemara is soon going to explain what this means, because if it's pot from the Allah of Shmita, there's no reason it should be pot from Meiser. So then it should be chayiv and maiser. So what does this mean? That it's potter from maiser, but at the same time, it's also potter from the halacha of shmita of beer. We'll see soon in the Gemara. U bas shviyeh shenichnasa l'shminis. If it's the, the other way around, it's going from the seventh year out of the seventh year. It began growing in the seventh year. It's going into the eighth year. So ptura be maiser. It's potter of maiser because it's from the seventh year. V'chayiv is beer. And it's chayiv in the halacha of shmita to get it out of your house, to make it hefker like the halacha of shmita. This is the statement Rabbi said. So Abaya asks Rabbi, I understand the end of your statement regarding the Esther that starts growing in the seventh year and was picked in the eighth year. So Luchumra, I understand you're being machmer, that you're being machmer, that you should follow the Chanotah, and the Chanotah was in the seventh year, so therefore it's Chayiv and Beer of Shmita, and once it's Chayiv and Beer, so it's Hefker. Once it's Hefker, automatically it's going to be Potter from Meiser. So you're going Luchumra. 
Rashi explains the reason why he said Lechumre is because from the beginning of his statement, it seems like he was saying that you found that, it, that it's like Shemitah, that, it, that if it starts from the sixth year and it was picked in Shemitah, so then you go according to the Lekita, and, and only because the Lekita was in Shemitah, therefore it's like Shemitah. That's why he said in the beginning of his statement that it's Potem and Amaiser. So in the end of his statement he says that if it was the Chanotah was in Shemitah and it was picked after Shemitah, then it's, it's considered to be Shemitah. So this sort of see, really seems to be like a stita here in what Rabbi was saying. Do you follow the Chanota or do you follow the Lakita? So but Rabbi is telling him, I could understand why it wouldn't be a contradiction, because maybe you were going L'Chumrah. You were going L'Chumrah both ways, and therefore in the Sefer you were saying that you go after the Chanota, it began growing in the seventh year, and therefore it's Chayv in the beard of Shemitah, and automatically it's going to be Potter from Isa. So that I understand. But when it comes to the first part of Rabbi's statement, Petura menabir. So when you said that because it began growing in the sixth year, it's potter from the beard of Shmita. So why is it potter? Amai, damrinon So obviously you're saying because it began growing in the sixth year. That's why it's potter of the Shmita. But if so, to chayev emaiser, it should be chayev emaiser. If it's not hefker, it's not part of Shmita, so it should be chayev emaiser. How can he say that it's potter from Meiser and potter from Shmita? Amale, <laughs> so Rabbi says, no, there's another spot of why it should be Potter from Meiser. Because Yada Kelme Mash Mishimba. All the people during Shemitah come into the fields, everything is Hefker. So people come into the fields, and even if there's this one tree that has a Sreigim on it that began growing from before Shemitah, it doesn't matter. Everybody's draining there. Everybody comes there in the trees and they touch it all. And so you're saying that it should be Chayv and Meiser? In other words, even though the MS, it's not Hefker. This particular tree started growing in the sixth year and it's not part of Shemitah, it's not Hefker. But people don't treat it that way though. People come in and touch everything in the whole orchard, including this tree. So therefore people treat it as Hefker. So therefore since people treat it as Hefker, even though really it's not Hefker, it's going to be Potter from Meiser. That's the Chiddush of Rabbah. So Rabbah said, yes, it's true. You follow the uh, Chanotah. So really it's not part of, my, of, of, of Shemitah. But nevertheless, people touch it anyways and therefore people treat it as Hefker. Nothing left over from what they give Maiseh. Everyone touches it. Okay. Everyone slips off the fruit. True. Okay. Okay. Whatever people talk, people talk. But when we're talking about whatever is still there, you're still going to be potter from Maiseh. But I've no Abraham. I've no no Mar. So it's on this chiddush of Rabbe, this particular detail that Rav Amnuna argues. In other words, there are really two points that Rabbe said here. One point Rabbe said is when it comes to the esrig regarding Shmita, you follow the Chanota when it started growing. That point, Rav Amnon is not going to argue, but this Chiddush that Rabbi just said, that even though Be'emes it's not Hefke, but because people treat it like Hefke, that's enough to pattern it from the Meiser, this point Rav Amnon argues. Rav Amnon says, Bashish If it began growing in the sixth year and it goes into the seventh year, so lo'ilam shishis. It's considered to be from the sixth year for everything, both for Shmita. And also for Meiser. In other words, he disagrees with this concept that because people treat it and touch it like Hefker, that it's going to be Potter from Meiser. If it's Be'emes, not Hefker. So Rashi says, what do you mean people are touching it? So they're Gazlanim. That's Gzela. They're not allowed to touch it. It's really not Hefker. So therefore, it's still going to be Chayiv and Meiser. It's part of the sixth year. And then if it began growing in the seventh year and it goes into the eighth year, so Lailam Shviyas. That's totally Shviyas because it began growing in the seventh year. So the point is, both Rabbi and Rabbi Avnuna hold that by, when it comes to the Esrig with Shmita, you go with Chanote. And then we have this Machloikis, when you have a situation where everyone's treating it like Hefker and it's not really Hefker. Rabbi says that's considered to be Hefker, and Rabbi Avnuna says no, it's not really Hefker, that's Gzela. So Meisvei, the Gemara asks a question, and this is going to be a question both on Rabbi and Rabbi Avnuna. Rab Shimon ben Yehudaim, it says in the Brice, Rab Shimon ben Yehudaim said, Mishum Rab Shimon, Esrik ba Shishis, Shenechnesis Lashviyis, the Esrik from the sixth year that it went into the seventh year, Petura mena Maiser, it's Potter from Maiser, O Petura mena Beer, and it's Potter from Beer, it's Potter from Shmita as well. So this is actually exactly what Rabbi said. So this is right here, you have a question of, um, on Rav Amnuna. Because Rab is the one that said this, right? That it's Potter from Maiser. Why is it Potter from Maiser, even though it started growing in the sixth year? Because everyone treats it like Hefker. And he explains, She'ein l'chadavar, you don't have anything she'chayiv b'maiser, that it would be chayiv b'maiser, elam kein godal b'chiyuv, only if it grew in a time when it was chayiv, that would be in the sixth year, but also v'nilkat b'chiyuv. It has to be 
also that it was picked in the, in the sixth year, not if it was picked in the seventh year. So Rashi here explains, Rab Shimon ben Yehuda means to say the Svara that Rabbi said, that because it was picked in the seventh year, so therefore people were touching it and treating it as Hefker, and therefore it's going to be potter from beer, it's really not part of Shemitah, it started growing in the sixth year, and it was not picked in the seventh year, but at the same time, everyone treats it like Hefke, so therefore it's Hefke. So this, is, this part is clearly like Rabbe, and therefore this is a question of Amnona. Now, when it comes to the other way, when it comes to the end of Shemitah, from the seventh year, they went into the eighth year, so here he says, it's going to be Pata from Meiser, in other words, we treat it like Shmita, like a, in that sense it's like a Shemitah year, but also a Petura Menabir. But it's also going to be potter from beer. It's not going to be chayiv in the halacha of shmita. Why not? So here they, he says, She'ein l'chadova she'chayiv beer. You don't have anything that would be chayiv in the halacha of shmita to get rid of it, to take it out of the house. Elam ken godal b'shviyas v'nilkat b'shviyas. It's not enough that it started growing or it grew mostly in Shemitah, but it's only going to be chayiv in Biyur if it also was picked in Shemitah. So now this is a question both on Rabbe and on Avamnuna. They both said that when it comes to Shemitah, you follow just the Hanata. And over here in the Brai said saying that it also has to be picked in Shemitah. So the Rungmara says, Reishe Kashi Avamnuna. In the first part of the statement of Rav Shem ben Yehuda, that's a question of Amnuna. There he said exactly like Rabbe. And Seife, in the Seife, where he says that it's going to be chayiv in the beard of Shemitah only if it was also picked in Shemitah, Kashi, so that's a question, Ben Rabbe, Ben Rav Amnuna. It's a question both on Rabbe and Rav Amnuna that said that you follow just the Hanota, and that's enough that it should have the halacha of Shemitah. So the Gemara answer is Tanoihi. You're right, this Tana is not like their opinion, not like Rabbe, not like Rabbe, Rav Amnuna, but it's a machlaik is Tanoi. And the Gemara here is going to bring a Braise where we see that there's another Tana that says that you do follow just the Chanote. That if the Chanote wasn't Shmita, it has the halacha of Shmita. The Tanya will learn in the Braise, Rabbi Yaisi, Rabbi Yaisi said, Av Tulmus Heid Mishum Chamisha Zekainim. Av Tulmus said in the name of five Zekainim. Esrig Achalikitose Lemaiser. That by an Esrig, you follow the time of picking for Maiser like the vegetables. This was the opinion we had before of Rabbi Gamliel, that Esrig is like vegetables regarding Maiser. The Rabbi Seinu Nimnu Usha, our Rebbes took account in the city of Usha, that was one of the places that the Sanhedrin went to, and Vomru, and they said, Achal Ikitase, that an Esrik has the halacha of picking, Bein Maiser, whether it's for Shmita, and Bein Shvius, whether it is for Shmita. So the Gemara now will explain, what's this continuation of this conversation here? Shvius Mandachar Shmei, who mentioned anything about Shmita? Rabbi Yaisi was talking just about Maiser. And he wasn't talking about Shemitah at all. Then he says, Rabbi Seinu said, It sounds like that Avtulmus also spoke about Shemitah, but he didn't. So why, why are they bringing up Shemitah? So the Gemara says, so we must say that we're missing something over here in the Braise. And this is how you have to read the Braise. And here we're going to see that there's an opinion that says that regarding Shemitah, for an Esrig, you go only after the Chanotah, like Rabbi and Rabbi Amnuna said. So Chasuri Mechzere, Fahachi Katani. There's something missing in this Braise, and this is how you have to read it. Esrig, so what Avtulmis was saying was that Esrig achalikitosay lemaiser. You follow the time of picking for maise, but v'achachanote l'shviyas. When it comes to Shemitah, you go after when it began blossoming. That's what Avtulmis said in the name of, uh, uh, Rabbi Yaisi said in the name of Avtulmis. And this is the opinion of Rabbi and Rabbi Amnuna, that when it comes to Esrig, you go after Chanote. And Rabbi Seinu Nimnu Usha, and then you have the Rebbe's and Usha that said that it's Acha Likitosay, Bein Lemaise, Bein Lishviyas, that you go by an Esrik after the Likita, both for Maise and for Shmita. So right over here we see that this subject is a Machloikis Tanoim, whether by an Esrik for Shmita you go after Chanote or you go after the Likita. Itmar, we learned that Rabbi Yechen Everish Lakish Amri Tarvayu. Rabbi Yechen Everish Lakish both said Esrik Bas Shishis Shenichnes Lishviyas. An Esrik of the sixth year that began in this, growing in the sixth year and it went into the seventh year, Lo Shishis. For everything, as the halacha of the sixth year. Which means that it's going to be potter from Shmita halachas, beer and whatever else it is, and it's going to be Chayav and Maiser. This is like uh, Rav Amnuna's opinion. Kiyasir Ravin Omar Yechenen, Ravin said in the name of Rav Yechenen, Esrik Bas Shishis, Shenichnes Al an Esrik that began growing in the sixth year and it finished in the seventh year. I feel a like kezayis, even if it began growing in the sixth year, just a tiny drop, it was as small as a kezayis. And the nasa kikar, and it grew so large to be like a loaf of bread. So mamish mostly grew in shmita year. 
Nevertheless, Chayav and Olam Hashem Tevel. Because it began growing in the sixth year, the Chanot was in the sixth year, so it has the halacha of Meiser, and if you don't take Meiser, it's Tevel, and it's, it's, it's part of all the halachas of Shemitah. Again, like Rav Amnuna said, Tan Rabbanon, we learned in Abraise. Now this is coming back to trees Bechlal. Not about Esrix, but about trees Bechlal. Ilon Shechontu Peiraisov, Kaidim Tezvav Bishvat. A tree that the fruits began blossoming before Tezvav Bishvat, the Rosh Hashanah for trees, so the Maiser of this tree is going to go on the year before. The Chanotah was before Tezvav Bishvat. Acha Tezvav Bishvat. If the Chanotah was after Tezvav Bishvat, so then Misasa Lashon Abba. So then you go on the following year. In other words, like we said till now, we always follow Chanotah for trees. But now Amar Abne Chemyeh, Abne Chemyeh says, When is this said? Be'ilon she'oise shtei brechois. This is a tree that produces two broods. In other words, it comes out in two times, as the Gemara will explain. Beshana, two times in the year. It, it gets ripe in two different time periods in the year. Then I say that, there's, that Tezvav Bishvat is the cutoff date. Okay, so now the Gemara clarifies this. This expression of Brechais, Shfrek the Gemara, Shtei Brechais Why are we using an expression of Brechais regarding trees? So Rashi explains the question is. Brechais is usually the expression that's used by birds. Birds, their nature is, they give birth once every month. There's like a, like, a, like a set of birds that come out every month. The eggs that they lay and that are born once a month. So that's not an expression that's used by trees. So why is it saying Brechais for trees? So the Gemara says, It's a tree that it doesn't get all ripe at once in the, in the season. But just like a bird that produces these eggs once in a month and so on, so similar, this tree has a few, a few times in the season that it becomes, at least two times that it becomes ripe. Avol, the Braise continues, Avol Illinois Brecha Achas. But a tree that all becomes ripe once at the same time, Kogoin de Kolim, palm trees, Zaysim, olive trees, Haruvin, carob trees. Even if it began growing before Tezvav Bishvat, Misasrin Lishana Haba. The Maiser of this tree goes with the following year when it was picked. The whole halach of Chanata by a tree are those trees that they don't all ripen at the same time. So Rabbi Yechenen said regarding this opinion of Abnechemye here that Nagu Ha'am Becharuvin Kerabnechemye. That the, the, the custom of people regarding Caribs was taken like Rabnechemye. Taisus actually says, Lavdafka only carobs, he's choosing carobs as one example, but really the same thing by other trees as well. <coughs> okay, so this is what Rabbi Yechenen said, that the custom is like Rabbi, like Rabbi Nechemia. So, Eis, ve Reish Lakesh Rabbi Yechenen, Reish Lakesh asked Rabbi Yechenen this, how could you say that this is the custom? It says in Abraise, Benois Shuach, which are these white um, figs, that it takes them three years to become ripe. So Shvi is Shalehan, so this Braise says, when is going to be the Shmitte for these uh, figs? Shniya. Uh, Shniya in the second year after Shmitte. Because it takes three years, it began, if it began growing in Shmitte, the time that it's going to become ripe is two years after Shmitte. It, become, it takes three years to become ripe. So what do you see over here? So this Braise is saying regarding this uh, fig, that you could be keeping Shmitte three years later. Why? Because it became, the Chanot uh, was in Shemitah time. So how can you say that when it comes to trees, they all become ripe at the same time? So over there you follow the time of picking, not the time of Chanot when it began growing. Like, like Rabbi Nechemia said, but in this Braise it gives you an example and it says that you follow the Chanot. So Ishtik. Rabbi Yechen, when he heard this question, he didn't respond. He was quiet. So only Rabbi Abba Koyin, Rabbi Yesi Koyin, Rabbi Abba Koyin, said to Rabbi Yesi Koyin about this uh, question of Rish Lokish. Amai Ishtik. Why was Rabbi Yechen quiet? I'm telling you that people follow the opinion of Rabnechemia. And you're bringing me a Braise that's, that's Rabbanon's opinion? What's the question? That's Rabbanon and this is Rabnechemia. So the Gemara says, no, that wouldn't be a good answer. The Rabbi Yechen didn't want to give that answer. Why not? <coughs> Sorry. Because then Rabbi would tell Rabbi Yechen, Shafkis Rabbanon vav this Rabnechemia. That's exactly my question. I have a b'risa of the Rabbanon, and you're following the single opinion of Rabbi Nechemia. So now the Gemara says a little different. Velei melei, but Rabbi Yechen could still answer Ish Lakish. I'm just telling you what the custom is. This is a custom of people. Vat omritli isure. 
And you're telling me the Isser of what it says in the Braiser regarding these figs that get ripe three years later, that's yet, yeah, that might be the halacha of the Isser that you have to follow the Chanate. But I'm telling you the custom of what people do. That's what he should have answered him. So the Gemara says on this as well, no, this wouldn't be a good answer for Rabbi Yechenon to say. Because the Amalei, because then Eshlakish would tell him, B'makoyim isure, in a place where there's an Isser of Shmita, Kinogu, if people have a minik that's going against the Isser, Shafkinon, we're going to allow that minik? He can't say that, that it's a custom and therefore don't ask me any questions from the Isser. Of course it's a question. How could people have a minik against the Halacha, which is the minik of Shmita, or the, hal- the Isser of Shmita? So the Gemara goes further and says, there's another answer Rabbi Yechenon should have said. I was speaking about Meiser, regarding the carob tree, or maybe other trees as well. But the point is, it's only Meiser, which regarding all trees is Midrabanon. And you're asking me from the Braiser regarding the figs, which is speaking about Shmita, and there it's Minatayra. Maybe by trees, by Minatayra, by Shmita, you go after Hanata. But by Meiser, which is Midrabanon, there the Rabbanon were Masakin, that you should go later with the Lakita. So Elam Abba Kayin, so Abba, so really, so what Abba Kayin said is, Tmiani, I really wonder, Im Heshiva Reshlakish Lachuvazu. Did Reshlakish even ask this question? I wonder, is it even true that he asked such a question? Why? Because this question doesn't make any sense. He's saying a halacha about Meiser mit Rabbanon, and he's asking him a question from a Braise that's speaking about Shmita that's Minatayris. So I really wonder if he ever asked this question. So the Gemara says, Im Shiva, you wonder if he asks this question? Ha'isva, as we just quoted, he did ask it. The fact is, he did ask the question. So that, that's not, that, that we know he asked the question. So the Gemara says, Ela Eime, rather, what Rab Abba Kain was wondering is, Im Kibla Rab Yechenin, did Rab Yechenin accept this question? Im like Kibla, or he did not accept it. In other words, when Rabbi Yechelen was quiet, when a person is quiet, when you ask him a question, you can be quiet for two reasons. Either you're quiet because you have nothing to answer, or you're quiet because it's such a question that doesn't even deserve a response. So that's what he's saying. I wonder, Rabbi Yechelen wasn't quiet because he didn't have what to answer. Rather, he was quiet because he didn't think it deserves any answer. B'chlam.